Hi, my name is Larry Newman. I'm an attorney in Ithaca, New York. I practice focuses, concentrates on cards and drugs, I like to joke. Mostly DWI and other criminal defense matters. Today I want to talk to you about a case that we had last year where somebody had gone home for the holidays and was into baking and they baked pot brownies. They used their hash oil and they made a whole lot of brownies. And on the way back to school, they got pulled over for speeding and then the cop got the whiff of marijuana coming from the car because he didn't cook a couple of pot brownies. He had trays of pot brownies in the car. He had three pounds of pot brownies in the car. So the thing was this, he got charged with a felony level charge because they go by aggregate weight of the drugs in whatever you place them in. So in this case, I don't know how much hash oil that he used or how much cannabis he used to make the pot brownies, but they used the weight of the brownies in determining the level of the charge. And in this case, it was over a pound. So it was a felony level marijuana charge. Remember, New York State, low, small amounts of drugs like marijuana would not even be a criminal level offense. Up to an ounce is still, is still not a criminal level offense unless it's lit in open public. So when we have that much drugs in a form like brownies, then we're dealing with felony level charges, the highest level charges. In this particular situation, we were able to get the charges reduced down, but in so many other cases and situations, a lot of people are not aware, not aware that because they're taking the hash oil or taking the marijuana and placing it into some baked goods, that the baked goods are gonna be weighed out, not how much controlled substance they use, but the, what the end product is. So remember, it's arrogant weight. Be careful, don't transport drugs in aggregate weight like brownies because you can be held accountable for way higher level charges than you normally would. If you have a question about a marijuana charge or other drugs type charge in upstate New York, you got to give us a call, give it, or shoot us an email or fill the phone on our website. We'd be more than happy to discuss it with you. And thanks for watching this video.